Hello, my dear friends. How is it going? I hope I find you all in good health and safe and sound. I'm Mario Theriger and welcome to 2024, this new year, this new cycle and everything we promised we would start doing will last for about five days or so and then here we go again back to the same old thing. But worry not, life will eventually find a way to change the rhythm and give you a whole other direction sooner or later. So best be by your own hands with the strength, power and will you still have. Don't give up. Well now, uh, for the past seven years as a YouTuber, I always start the year with a particular subject which I find it meaningful and the content will last and make sense throughout the entire year. I've done this without failing and also delivering some messages to make the journey through the new cycle a little bit more bearable and perhaps comprehensive. <laughs> but I've decided to start this year in a different way. This video is entirely dedicated to you. <laughs> Those of you who already know me and are acquainted with my work, both here and out of the online world, you know that I've always been very busy with work outside YouTube and Patreon and I've always kept myself busy with many different projects. I try to make sure there's never a dull moment and no time to be with myself and my own thoughts. So I feel like there was never a proper moment to celebrate anything with you and neither an appropriate or convenient time to thank you nor to show you how much I appreciate you. And I would like to do that today at this video, the, the, the first video of 2024 in this channel. I've started making YouTube videos back in uh, 2016 uh, at the age of 28. <laughs> and since then I have never stopped. I never had in mind any particular goal concerning YouTube. I never expected to reach any specific number of people. I wasn't actually focused on YouTube itself, but rather on finding yet another thing to do to keep me motivated, to keep me busy and distracted, to give me another reason to live. It was just a hobby, a little new project. I remember when I was making videos for about 20 people and we would, we would talk about the, the subjects here expressed. I would even paint for you, actually painting on canvas and, and all of that. Um, there were only um, a few reasons why I've put myself into this platform, uh, why I've started this. Uh, the main reason was because I was struggling with depression. I was alone, I was keeping myself busy with studies, work. I think I was still shooting targets back then as well, uh, both with the rifle and with bow and arrow. I was still painting and drawing, but it wasn't enough. And years before that, my best friend kept saying I should start a YouTube channel, I had potential and whatnot, but I told her back then I didn't feel particularly comfortable having a camera in front of me, I, I still don't. Uh, I didn't feel like it was for me, right? So then, years later, after she kept ins insisting <laughs> for so many years, I have decided to give it a try. I, I remember it took me nine two years to save enough money to buy a cheap camera and then at 28 I finally I've, I've started making videos to keep me busy. It worked, it was a healthy method of survival and one of the very few best decisions of my life. It kept me going. Not sure if this person I'm talking about uh, that kept motivating me and almost forcing me to do a YouTube channel still watches my stuff today. I uh, don't know if she's proud of me or, and, and of the person I have become, but thank you for insisting and for so many years not giving up on me. Anyway, um, I never expected this to reach as far as it did and uh, to arrive at, at this point right here and, and reach this audience. It will always feel strange to me to have reached this far, both in life and in YouTube. The main objective was just to survive, for as long as I could. Luckily for me, or lucky me, <laughs> I have uh, a good fertile imagination, so I keep coming up with projects to keep me going and then I actually create some sort of legacy others can enjoy. I have never been proud of myself, but I admit I'm proud of this channel. It was a very good thing that has happened to me. 
and changed so many things in my life, including changing myself in so many levels. I never had the opportunity to celebrate when this channel reached 100 subscribers. All I ever wanted, actually, was, was something simple. It was just a special dinner with a special person to celebrate that milestone. Um, I never had the opportunity to also celebrate when it reached 500 subscribers, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and so forth. Even the plans I've made to make a, a special video with Mr. Thorstein and celebrate reaching 100,000 subscribers, uh, I never found the time to properly do that and celebrate things with you. I have wrote lyrics for a song and, and all and, and made a silly and rather easy composition on the guitar, but life seems to always get in the way. So what I'm saying is that I never properly had the time to sit down and give you a simple thanks. And it's strange, isn't it? It seems so easy to just sit down for a moment and tell you, hey, thank you. <laughs> but there's so many things always going on, so many struggles, so many stuff to deal with in my mind as well. This shit up here is, is, is a pretty bad neighborhood. And I think, well, in time throughout this year, at least, uh, I should share with you a little bit more about myself so you can more or less have some ideas of past traumas and, and the things I have done and, and what I've been through to reach this point. Uh, you know, this channel was never about me. Uh, it, was, it was my own survival mechanism and I have focused on the work rather than on my own person. I wanted you to, I wanted you all to, to focus on the work and not the person because I've always thought, and I still maintain that thought, that when we are exchanging information, when we create something that is supposed to educate people and ed educate ourselves, there's no point in focusing on the person and method of transmission of information, but rather on the information itself. I wanted people to listen instead of focusing on the figure. As I told you before, I, I abhor idols, I despise when there's a focus on a person and that person's personal life and gossip, <laughs> rather than focusing on what is being told. Idols, icons, the veneration and adoration of human persons, putting them on a pedestal, putting them on a position of superiority, making them famous, all these attitudes that shift away the focus from knowledge, it's, it's a bloody waste of time. But, I, I mind you, I, I do understand that. Eventually and naturally people create some sort of connection with others and well, when they like someone it's only natural they want to know more about those people. So, okay, I get it, I, I, I do get that. And whether I like it or not, and as much as I loathe the label influencer and the abominable connotation it carries, one way or another, I influence people. Well, uh, if you see me as an example to follow, I'm not, I'm not sure that's a good idea. But anyway, uh, there's indeed a certain, let's say, responsibility, but also a certain commitment, and perhaps something close to an obligation towards you, because we have created a bond, right? I don't live for the online world, and this year I have taken upon me to actually get out of as many social media networks as possible, forever, <laughs> because I don't live for relationships and connections in this online realm, and I don't want to continue to be part of this global collective madness. However, in strange and unforeseen and even unpredictable ways, we have created a strange online connection. So, I suppose you ought to know a little bit more about myself. Um, there's plenty of suppositions and speculations about my own person all over the internet. I'm sure you have come up, you know, or I've read something about that. Uh, and almost all of it isn't true. About me, you only know what I allow you to know. I'm only an authority in relation to my own person, and even so, there's little I control about myself. And despite knowing myself a little bit better than you know me, there's much about me I don't tell to my own self. But I digress too much, sorry. Um, 
what I want you to know, um, well, I want you to know a little bit more about my own person this year. 2023 was, after all, the end of a cycle and of an era. We are going to pass through three years that form the bridge to a new era, so I think we should get closer somehow. Throughout these seven years, I've met some of you in the real world, you kinky little devils, so strange, but at the same time, I feel like it's a blessing. And for decades, I've been this solitary, misanthropic spirit of the forest. However, through you, I have found that I was wrong. <laughs> and despite knowing really well much of the darkness of human nature, there's also much goodness, fortunately. People actually caring, people actually loving, and many words that were spoken and shared, um, I won't forget them. So, you see, uh, it's those conversations we have had and all the interactions that keep the darkness at bay always a little bit more every day. So, thank you for that. Thank you for your friendship, for your kindness, for your support, for your love, for all the motivating words, the knowledge and the experience you have shared with me. It was really good. Making a YouTube channel was indeed one of the best decisions of my life. One of the very, very few great decisions of my life. It changed me and my whole life on several levels and, and perspective about human nature as well. Most of which I was never inclined to delve in. Most of which I didn't even know it was possible. I, it was never in my mind, never crossed my mind. So many unexpected yet very positive changes. And I wonder what you will think of me when I start to express myself and my past. I have encountered a lot of judgment throughout my life, but I find myself daring to believe you. <laughs> Believing that you are more acceptive. I don't claim to know you, obviously. What I know is the love you have given me over these years. That love is important to me, and I think love will overcome. At least I trust in that. We all have a past. Uh, it's funny, you know, uh, one of the movies I really like, because it gives me good memories, is First Night, 1995. Um, that's one of the movies I watch every year, at least once a year. Since then, until quite recently actually, I was trying to make sense of one of King Arthur's lines from that movie, which goes like this. I take the good with the bad, together. I can't love people in slices. This never made sense to me. What did he, he meant by, by taking the good with the bad and, and all of that? And the recently, only, only very really recently, because of you, it finally hit me. <laughs> love is not about tolerance. Love is about acceptance. The good doesn't wash away the bad. The bad doesn't wash away the good. And people are people and we all do all sorts of shit to survive. Sadly, we are too quick to judge without measuring someone's background their life story, the circumstances in which they had to live, their upbringing, the influences they had in life, the things that had to be done, the flows of luck and misfortune and, and struggles, etc. Through you, I've seen a better side of humanity. Oh, surely the internet also brings the worst in people, but it's mostly just talk. But, well, there's far worse out there in the real wor world. I've seen it, I've experienced it, I've lived it. However, conversations with you, the exchange of knowledge and life stories and experiences and, and all of that, I've seen some pretty things worth living for. Acceptance is a beautiful thing. Finally, it makes some sense and I also want to thank you for that. How's that for a New Year's message? <laughs> Don't know where I, where I was going with this, but somehow it feels good, uh, whatever just came out of my mouth. <laughs> Thank you, my dear friends. Thank you very much. I wish upon you a gentler year than the year before. I wish upon you strength of mind and spirit, always, in whatever paths you choose to walk, especially the ones that have not yet been trodden, and you shall be the first to cut through the darkness. Best of luck. Love will overcome. Trust in that. <laughs> My dear friends, thank you for everything. Until we meet again.